Look at how quickly the masks have come off. It's a beautiful thing. Just days after the CDC gave more permissive guidance than ever before, just days after that, people are taking off the masks and going even further, recognizing that probably there's other activities that the CDC hasn't permitted, but screw them, let's go back to our regular lives. This is a very good thing. Now, some have said, ooh, this just shows how dangerous it is that people are following only government orders. And they point out that this would put us on the same horrible track as other societies that followed the government, the Bolsheviks, the National Socialists in Germany, the in Venezuela, the Chavez cadre, the Milgram 47, or as Peter Gabriel said, we do as we're told. I don't think this is the case. I don't think that people have been following mask orders because of government. I think the vast majority of us have because of decency and maybe personal knowledge, our own wisdom, our own common sense and not government orders. I spent most of the winter in Utah, a relatively permissive state, yet permissive by the government standards. They did not close their restaurants. Bars were closed very briefly. They were left open until 10 p.m. and by Christmas of 2020, open until regular hours. Very permissive. Now, why did most Utahns still wear masks? Because of a respect for others. And maybe not even that there was easily transmissible COVID. But if people around you feel that they're in danger, it's a nice thing to do to wear the mask around them. That's why I wear masks in public. That's the only reason. I don't wear it at work. I don't wear it when I'm alone. From day one, it was for the tranquility of other people around me. So it's a nicety that might still continue. And for most of us who still want to don masks, it's not because of government. It's because of the beautiful non-government thing called human decency. And that we don't need government to command our activities or what is decent and not because we can figure it out without government is a beautiful thing. It is why I am a conservative who is a happy conservative and why I'm an optimistic conservative, that this crazed respect among some, not many though, for government, it will pass. And American values that we've had for most of our 240 years will reassert themselves. I am Mark Stewart. Thanks for listening.